Hi, my name is Nkenny, and in this video I'll be running a repeat of the suppressor and stealth mechanics, only this time using the Lamb's Danger FSM 2.5 release candidate. So essentially repeating the uh, what call them experiments or demonstrations I did uh, only yesterday, except running with the modded content instead. What we're looking at is CBA, Lamb's Danger FSM, and Dinosaur, I believe. So, but nothing else beyond that. So, the uh, demonstration is the same as the previous video. If you haven't seen it, it might be worth ha having a look at that before you continue viewing this video here because it's the same sort of principles. A four man fire team, 300 meters, uh, just under 300 meters away, and we're looking at the responses. With well, the Lamps Danger FSM running, I'm expecting to see faster response or more active responses. And potentially more sort of suppressing fire and and so on and definitely also dodging fire but um let's get this going um unsuppressed mxm rifle firing into the blue one round no effect two rounds okay they started looking towards me. We can see on the top right corner, they still have zero knowledge of where I am. They have no sort of distance based knowledge, but we are actually seeing them taking cover, moving into houses, and well, this one guy's remaining behind. So, difference they are reacting. They definitely know something is up, and now they're checking, moving into and about buildings. Yeah, I can actually see him moving in and taking cover inside the building. Not sure why the lead candidate here is uh, still stood. All right, so rather dramatic change. Three shots fired into the sea, and they started moving uh, quite uh, quite quickly. Again, they don't actually consider me hostile. They don't know that I'm here as such. They just know that there's something dangerous about. So I'm going to reset the experiment. Or I keep saying the experiment it's because... Uh, topic of other readings today. Anyway, uh, for guys, I'm going to start shooting closer to them. I'm going to pick this um, wall here. Uh, there's an interesting interaction at play, which we also saw in the previous video. If my bullet penetrates the wall, I believe it comes closer to them. If it doesn't, it remains at the wall, so there's a distance thing here. Of course, we did see them react when I was sh shooting into the sea, so we'll see what happens now. One round. All right, that got their attention. I still don't know where I am or that I am dangerous. We can see them sort of reorganize this their formation. Well, they were looking away. Now they're looking, if not towards me, then I believe that's the leader uh, center screen there. So they have taken cover. Let me start shooting at them, trying to hit. Oh, that guy dodged me, actually. Oh, one round. Here we go. One round is enough. Yeah. And this mirrors the vanilla experience, I believe. Uh, quite quickly, raising to 1.5 uh, knowledge when I actually hit them, but more uh, appropriately, unsuppressed, they're quickly down to just uh, under um, half a meter of, of accuracy and, and knowledge. Now, repeating the same thing, suppressed, shooting into the sea. No response. It's pretty much ex expected. I'm going to start out here, see if we have a response. No. No. Yes. That's one. That's the ticket. Oh, this one rised quite quickly. They know that there's something dangerous about. You see 0 0.89 knowledge rating, but their knowledge of my position is still 170 meters. So something's dangerous. They're seeking cover, scanning but they have no idea where I actually am and therefore are unable to engage. And again, because Lamp's Danger FSM doesn't alter the uh, the way the AI hear things, uh, the same interaction occurs as before, where as I shoot closer to them, 
it jumps up by 10 to 20 points. This time about this, you can see them trying to also dodge me. Looking towards where they think the shot might come from. And that's the thing that can skew this actually. The Lamps Danger FSM is much more active when it comes to to actually looking at uh, towards the shots fired or or impacts and things like that and when the AI starts directing its, uh, its attention elsewhere you know stuff becomes all the more uh, more difficult uh, but yeah still very possible to remain um, stealthy 1.5 knowledge i hit him so he def i'm definitely dangerous to him the rest of them i've already hidden inside the buildings oh this guy decided to heal in the middle that's actually something uh, 2.5 improves in regards to ace uh the ai won't be doing stuff like uh, like that anymore and yeah I started to suppress i'm going to spectator mode see if they what they're on about we can tell that they're 50 meters away he was actually suppressing to the right of me here Still doing anything? No, not just static. They're not sure. Sort of waiting for me to uh, to uh, to to uh, to pop up. We saw a bit of an animation glitch there. That's actually a vanilla thing, I think, because this guy started to heal up the other uh, the other dude. Again, something that you won't actually see running um, running Ace. Interestingly enough. Anyway, I think this demonstration has shown that the weapon mechanics hasn't changed but definitely the responses to the danger has changed one or two rounds unsuppressed up even just above them they immediately start taking cover even though they don't know that i'm dangerous per se so that's uh that's absolutely more drastic response let's move on to the uh, second demonstration and see what we can do with that so this is the uh, second demonstration testing environment. The setup is the same, same weapon, but this time I'm much closer. In the vanilla setting, as you probably saw, having them look away, they wouldn't even turn towards me. That's gonna be much more challenging now for the reasons I mentioned before. In the previous demonstration, we saw me shooting from the top of this hill, even just sh shooting that rifle with the MX, uh, MX caliber above them, and they get some knowledge of dangers. The same thing's going to happen now, so sneaking up on them will be much more difficult. They also might start moving around because, as I've said before, the uh, Lamb's Danger FSM is, is, is a much more active opponent. With that said, let's try suppressed and see how far I can get. So I'm minimizing my uh, noise, of course, by walking, as I've done before. Just a quick peek around the corner. Headshot. Oh. Something. Minor knowledge. I'm going to go third person. Is he looking towards me? No. Their knowledge of where I am is very low. They just know something is dangerous there. Six, seven. That's still not enough to sort of identify me as uh, as dangerous. And yeah, killed them all within reasonable stealth. Uh, the guy in the uh, on the outside here the, with the MG, I actually didn't uh, hit in the head. I guess that had something to do with it as well. Let's uh, let's repeat that. So again, this is the Lamp Danger FSM 2.5 release candidate, and it's going to be dropping. Uh, well, it's just around the corner. Zero zero. Oh, very very low. They know something's something's up. Hundred meters, still far away. They don't really have really got any attention. This guy has moved away. Contact. Oh, he saw me. Knows about popped up to four. That's the maximum. Accuracy is very good. That guy was probably not uh, informed just yet of my exact position. That he, this other guy, who was of course in a different group, would know. You can tell that the distance is counting up because he, he oh, because he's extra extrapolating where he saw me last, and he probably expected me to be out here not in uh, not in not inside but uh there yeah i got him 
Uh, I should mention, I'm uh, for testing purposes, I am invulnerable. This is why the, he could shoot me comfortably in the chest and I just uh, shrug that off. Uh, of course, that has no bearing on the, uh, on the test itself. Let me uh, repeat this with a unsuppressed weapon. Oh dear, I, I ran, I made a noise and it immediately popped up to almost 30%. This is how sensitive to audio the this and I mean this is just vanilla it is increased because he's now looking towards me most likely because he's actually acting on the noise he's hearing yeah but the same sort of interaction is there in vanilla as well and we can see 1.35 we're probably gonna see that number pop up again I, I keep double tapping that I usually play with ace so that's the uh, that's the reason I, I you know to fire till the uh, Fellow falls. This guy came through as well. That's twice now. They don't always uh, move. Sometimes they try to get be sneaky and, uh, and ambush you. Um, okay, let's uh, do that <laughs> even once more. I don't. I'm not into editing as you uh, as you uh, as you probably figured out by now. This is just doing it live and rugged and raw. Uh, so I come around the corner close, and I miss. Pops up to one three five. Their knowledge of me is quite good. Let's see what happens here. I'm running. That was a bad idea. And yeah. There you have it. You can actually see this guy. I mean, he was engaging me and I dodged behind or flinched behind the corner and he was looking over here. That's the prediction system of, of actually just intuitively built into Arma. And it happens everywhere you go. Uh, it's actually a bit of a limitation when it comes to uh, comes to buildings. It would, in a sense, be more intelligent for him when he's inside to not be as predictive or perhaps to start looking at doorways and, and some such. But it works very well when they're in, in the trees or firing through smoke or uh, or all that jazz. The, uh, the AI doesn't cheat in that regard uh, when it comes to Arma. Now there's one final thing to to talk about. Like I said, the weapons in Arma are configured differently, especially in regards to how easily or how well suppressed they are, how silent they are. So if you have different types of weapon, different calibers, or as we're doing here, um, a 45 uh, ACP suppressed, quite a slow moving round. This is actually, well, I haven't checked how it's configured. You would assume it's a quieter round. And zero. Oh, he might, he might have spotted me. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, this guy got close. That's the that's the thing. He reacted Soldier. quickly. Oh, God. And there you have it. I'll, I'll try once more. It's always, uh, you know, there's, there's so many vagaries or, or uh, random elements into Arma and the Lab's Danger FSM adds even more because there's more aggressive responses. Sometimes the, the response is an attack towards you. Sometimes it is to hide. Sometimes um, that hiding takes a few moments to sort of start. So they, they, they kind of freeze up on the first moment of, uh, of contact. That's the contact state. And of course, because they're more likely to turn towards potential uh, uh, audio sources, like it's happening right now, they get more, much more sensitive to uh, to these things. It's more more difficult, essentially. Yeah, no. Like I, like they talk about this guy here he moved quite quickly from the the room he was in, and he's actually. Oh yeah, that's the height of AI uh, <laughs> there. Happy demonstration day. So, Lamb's Danger 2.5 release candidate. Is it perfect? No, it isn't. Humans aren't perfect either. Is it better? Is it more aggressive? Well, myself and the team would uh, would believe so. And I think that's a good uh, good spot to, uh, to end the AI demonstration. Uh, Perhaps not a super high ground, but definitely an an interesting uh, interesting place to, uh, to 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 end it at. 
and uh, that's it for me. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Bye.